Oxford Bookworms, Stage 3 Recycling by Sue Stewart Published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2008 Read by Saul Reichlin Chapter 1. The Rubbish Problem What is rubbish? And what happens to it? It is not something that people like to think about too often. When we throw away our rubbish, we usually forget about it. Somebody takes it away, and it is not our problem anymore. Or is it? What happens to the rubbish that everyone throws away every week? Where does it go? Why should people recycle rubbish? Why not just put it into the bin? The fact is that there is not enough room for everybody's rubbish anymore. A lot of rubbish goes into big holes in the ground called landfill sites. But after a time, these fill up. Finding new landfill sites is a problem nearly everywhere in the world. So why is this happening? How much rubbish do we throw away? Here are some facts about rubbish. Eight billion plastic bags are used in the UK each year and most of them are only used once and then thrown away. That is 135 bags for each person in a year. In Hong Kong, customers use 6.7 million bags a year. 1,294 plastic bags for each person. In Greece, Plastic from landfill sites gets into the sea and kills 10,000 fish each day. In South Africa, the wind has blown thousands of plastic bags into the trees, and people now call plastic bags the new South African flower. In the UK, 1.5 million computers are put into landfill sites each year. Japan has over 600 landfill sites, but many of them are nearly full. During the Christmas holidays of 2005, people in UK homes put 550 million glass bottles into their rubbish bins. In the USA, each person throws away about two kilos of rubbish a day. So, why don't we just burn our rubbish? Burning rubbish sounds like a good idea, but there are problems. If you burn rubbish, it can make unpleasant smoke, which is bad for people's health. People who live near the fires can become very ill. So, burning rubbish is not the best answer. How do you throw away a television, or a battery, or an old car? This kind of rubbish is called toxic waste. It contains things, perhaps metals or chemicals, that can be dangerous for people and animals. They can also be very bad for the land, the rivers, and the sea. Most countries in the world have laws about toxic waste. Usually, these laws say that you have to take toxic waste to a special place 
where the dangerous things can be removed safely. The problem is that this process is very expensive and difficult. In the past, some countries decided to give the problem to someone else. Rich countries put their toxic waste into old ships and paid poorer countries to take it. But after a time, the poorer countries began to say no to this dangerous rubbish. Toxic ships began to sail around the world. They tried to stop at one country after another, but nobody wanted them. So, every day, all over the world, the problem of rubbish gets bigger. For rich countries and for poor countries, it is a terrible problem. Has anybody got an answer? There are some countries in the world that do not make very much rubbish. There are people in some parts of Mexico who do not have a word for rubbish in their language. Why not? The reason is that they do not have any rubbish. They do not know what rubbish is. For them, everything is useful and everything can be used more than once. They recycle everything. And this is not a new idea. The story of recycling began a long time ago.